Good morning, St. Albert the Great. Father Estock here for our weekly video chat. Hope you're doing well. On this week of the year, we are coming up on the celebration of the feast day of St. Albert the Great. And as uh, all of you know, in both of our schools, uh, the patronage of St. Albert the Great is, well, it's even in our name, right? So we have St. Albert the Great at Assumption Academy, and we have St. Albert the Great Parish School. So St. Albert the Great is an intercessor. He is one who prays for us, and he is a role model for us as a saint. Uh, I have been convinced that um, with many people in church history, that the only real failure in our lives as human beings is not to become a saint, to fail to become a saint. And so St. Albert the Great is uh, a prime example for all of us who work and live and minister under the intercession and the inspiration of St. Albert the Great to uh, emulate. That means to reflect the qualities of that person's life in our own lives. In the case of St. Albert the Great, he was a great teacher, and he is the patron saint of scientists. So all of you, when you are doing your scientific studies, you can be sure to pray uh, for the help of St. Albert the Great. Because you have a special friend in him, you are related to him in the patronage that he has in our lives, and you are in need of his special gifts of insight into uh, science and the things of the world. So uh, I just wanted to bring that to your attention. We are going to be celebrating uh, at the St. Albert the Great Parish uh, all week. Uh, beginning on this weekend and then into uh, the following week uh, when actually the date of St. Albert's Feast is the 15th of November. All right, let's uh, pray with the help of St. Albert the Great that we might all grow in wisdom and in grace that we might become saints and uh, do so in the likeness of our patron, St. Albert. All right, take care.